Hello everybody. Today I want to show you the capabilities of BF Ring enhanced with hardware filtering based on NBPF. NBPF is a new engine that we have developed here at Tento that allows us to push filters in hardware. Today I want to show you this capability on two different types of uh, Ethernet adapters, Napatec and Exoblade, but we also support other cars such as the Intel FM 10,000. So we are now on a machine called Office where we have installed two NICs. One is an Apatec NIC, the other one is a Nexoblade. The Exoblade NIC is running on a machine named Devil and the other one is Office. In Office we, sh we have a short command based on pfSend that allows us to send some packets to the Exoblade. So as you can see here we are going to start sending some stuff and uh, after you have installed the latest uh, PF ring you will see that it's possible and suppose that you have the Exoblade uh, drivers installed it's possible to receive packet using the standard Exoblade uh, integrated with PF Ring. As you can see, we are receiving about 42,000 packets per second. This is the standard traffic that uh, PF Sand is sending, so it's UDP over port 3000. Let's now add a filter. Let's do F and then, you know, uh, let's set a filter that, uh, you know, does not match the traffic. Let's put TCP. As you expect, the filter is set in hardware and no packets are received the sender is still sending packets. Now let's put UDP. This filter is matching the traffic and as you can see everything is received, 42,000 packets per second. Now we can put also port 3000 just to show you that we are also able to filter not just on IP and protocol but also on port. As you can see this is what we are receiving. Okay. So in this case, the Exablade is receiving traffic and the Napatec is sending traffic. Okay? So this means that the Exablade it is able to have harder filters. Exablade support good filters based on IPv4, protocol, IP and port. But Napatec filters are much more powerful because they support everything including IPv6 and extended features such as MPLS, VLAN tagging, and also, uh, uh, you know, all the possible uh, IPv4 filters, mm, fragmentation support, everything you can imagine is supported by Napatec. So I want to show you also the same demo, but on the Napatec side. So in this case, uh, we have two cars installed on the same machine. An Intel card, so a, an ETH2 that is sending traffic. Okay, so we send traffic online rate. This time I want to demonstrate also the speed. And I want to see that this is the Napatec card receiving traffic on port 2, NT2. As you can see, everything is received, okay? 40 million packets per second. If you look at the CPU utilization, you will see that we are using quite some CPU, okay? As in the Napatec and Exablaze, case we have to specify with dash f a simple bpf filter let's set a filter that does not match any traffic in this case pf count receives nothing and as you can see here the cpu usage of pf send is still the same and pf count is almost nothing because it's just the cpu used to print on the screen now let's add a filter similar to the one we have seen before. So UDP in port 3000. In this case, you see everything is matched and we are back to the previous CPU utilization. We can also check that. With monitoring, as you can see here, so we are receiving a lot of traffic on this port and the traffic uh, is received by the card. 
let's use a different port that doesn't match traffic. In this case, there is nothing being received. But as you can see, the traffic is still uh, received by the card because the sender is still pushing traffic to our NIC. But like in the previous case, the CPU utilization is just for PFSEN, whereas PF count has almost no CPU utilized. So what do we want to tell you here? All we can say is that it is possible now to use standard BPF filters, those that you know are working for years when you have to troubleshoot your network at line rate. This because it is now possible through this technology named NBPF that we have created at NTOP to push those filters and to convert those filters to meaningful filtering filters in hardware that are pushed to the card. As you can see, you don't have to know anything about the network adapter. Everything is done automatically by PFRing. In both cases, so this is the Exablade Exanec card. This is the Napatec card. The filter is the same, but the way the filter is mapped to hardware is totally different. And like I've said, Napatec is much more powerful than, than Exablade, but as you can see, the result is basically the same. It means that filter happens in hardware and there is nothing we have to do in software. In case the filter uh, based in hardware is not powerful enough, then in PFRing we are doing the second level of filtering so that we use the hardware part to, to drop most of the traffic and we complete our job in software by dropping the remaining part of the traffic. This does not happen on Napatec because Napatec has filtering expressions that are so powerful that this is not required. But in other type of uh, implementation, for instance the Exablade that does not support IPv6 in hardware, this is necessary. What do we want to say? Try to imagine this extended to other applications such as Wireshark, Bro or Suricata. It is now possible to inject filters in hardware without having to program the hardware adapter and without knowing the hardware adapter commands for injecting the filter. And as you can see, we are removing and setting the filters automatically through our application. So this means that you have to code the application once, you have to put the application on top of PFRing or on top of LibPickup because LibPickup based on PFRing is also able to set hardware filters. And this means that for instance you can now start a Wireshark or a 100 gigabit card and set a very specific filter so that you don't drop any single packet because dropping happens in, in, in the card because we are now filtering in the card and the application receives just the traffic you are interested in. In a future video we will show you how to do that also with uh, pickup file saved on disk. At the moment we want just to imagine the possibilities offered by this new technology in terms of expressiveness because we are supporting standard BPF filters also in terms of abilities of doing things that were not possible before because when you're running uh, applications such as Wireshark at a very high speed, let's say 40 gigabit or 100 gigabit it is not really possible to operate with live traffic capture because the traffic that is received by the application is far too much for the application so you will have severe drops whereas with this technology it is now possible to do that transparently without changing any single line of code and without changing the way you set filters because we support the standard BPL. Thank you for listening and let's see whether you can use this uh, new technology effectively uh, in your application.